This is PB at Night, episode 48 for May 16th, 2011. Yeah, guys, um, today we're going to be talking about some uh, Donald Trump uh, stepping down. Man, I'm really low. Stepping down so as uh, um, running president. And uh, also, we've got this awesome new hard drive that is wireless. Like, yeah. But only for the iPad. Uh, All that and more. So, um, yeah, guys, how's it going? It's just, like, all up in my face. You know, me and Jacob, uh, we do, we do the... We do what you do. We do Gadget Gurus right before this show. So I this gotta sh- get all up in I this don't thing. know. Yeah. And, uh, me and Jacob decided that we would switch places for the Little, night. Little, uh, switcheroony. The switcheroony. So now we're sitting in the opposite places. And I didn't really notice how small, uh... Nick's uh, exercise ball was. I'm substantially lower than him now. And yours is a lot more bouncy than mine. Exactly. That's the way I like it. All right. Um, so, Jay, we got a couple news stories, and we're kind of returning to our daily news format for a little while. But uh, you brought these two stories uh, in particular to my attention. And uh, the first one being that Donald Trump, uh, well, technically he never... Um, said that he was going to run for the presidency, but, you know, he had hinted at it, and he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to run for the presidency. Well, today he actually announced that he was taking his name out. So any rumors? He took his name in vain, and... uh... So, yeah. Um, But, you know, Jabe and I were talking about this before we ate uh, supper, and this here is from the Los Angeles Times. Nope, I just Um, changed it up on you because I'm like that. Oh, Okay. (laughs) <laughs> I just wanted this image. Oh, okay. So let's go to that show. <laughs> that's an awesome image right there. Um, Ooh, that's what I picture him saying right now. Ooh. So, uh, Ooh. yeah, so Donald Trump, I, I, I think it was kind of a joke anyway, but he was the main, like, he was really the only Republican candidate that had announced <laughs> that he would be running. Uh, that well, only, he was the only Republican candidate that wanted to run. No. Um, no, now the kidding. election is in 2012, so there's still a lot of people, you know, a lot of time for everyone to announce and everything. But not too much. Because um, you got like a year of running to actually yeah, run. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got to get out there, guys. You have to get you out gotta there. You got to win it. Win it for the team. Uh, so, Jet, we talked to, uh, a little bit about, you know, uh, before the sh- you know before before we ate, we said, who would actually want Donald Trump as the president? Uh, I think just about no one. Um, now Donald Trump, uh, he is, you know, a Republican, which means that he would get votes, um, just for being a Republican simply. So, uh, that is one of the things you have to look at, but also, you know, Jay, Jay and I had, pro- I kind of talked about Donald Trump would probably have to have a, um, a reality show in the White House. He'd probably be the first oh, person he, he would ever. have such a reality show. Yeah, he but would. But see, the sad thing is that, um, they actually invented a, um... A uh, forward-looking device, and basically, um, Go. this is what um, would happen to the White House. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> there it is, live C-SPAN. Yeah, uh, C-SPAN. seven twelve Pacific time. So and we're uh, going live to the White House right now. Yeah. See the the gold uh, gold columns. So Smoothie is saying, and he probably has a point that a lot of people would probably vote for Donald Trump. Yeah. Um. And look, even his time's wrong. It says 7.32 on the White House, and it's 7.12 on the actual Are live stream. Are you kidding stream. me? I, I mean, mean, come on, What guys. kind of Photoshop job was that? No, I think it's more of a... What the crap? Oh, my um, gosh. It's just saying that he'll never be on time. He'll always be late to everything. Oh, really? Is that what that's saying? Or something. I don't know. So, yeah. So, Jeff, now let's talk about a story. No, that... he'll be early to everything. Or late. Or early. Or late. Yeah. Let's talk about a really cool thing, and I saw this on Scobalizer's blog. He likes to cover a bunch of uh, you know technology news, but especially startup news. And uh, when this came across um, my YouTube feed on my iPad, I just couldn't pass it up because I thought you know it was uh, some kind of gimmick. But it turns out it's real. It's the uh, Seagate GoFlex uh, satellite, is what they're calling it, and it is a wireless. Semi-network storage, I guess you would call it a network storage, but it's a wireless hard drive. And it works for the iPad, the iPhone, and um, the iPod Touch. And the cool thing is it uses wireless G 
to transfer data. Which, why not in? Yeah, that's Who one knows? of my first things. Um, let's show off that picture there. And it looks just like a hard drive. I mean, it's got... I mean, it, it reminds me a lot of the um, GoFlex edition. I know that Steve Haywood has a GoFlex that he used at uh, CES. Um, the cool thing is... Um, yeah, that's a good one. Carlos saying that it's an NDS, a network d- detached storage. And yet what it does is it creates its own wireless access point um, and essentially makes it a Wi-Fi connection. So when you go on your iPad, you connect up to uh, GoFlex, let's just say. That'll, that'll be what the uh, network sign is or whatever. And, um, you know, you connect to it and you get about, um, well, I would say... I think he said eight to ten uh, mega megabits per, or megabytes per second uh, transfer speed, which is pretty cool. Mm, yeah. Um, but did you? I don't know if you saw the video or not. But did you see how fast it buffered? That was something. Well, see, you also have to think about it. Video is not doesn't require that much transfer speed to buffer. Yeah, true. You can right now with your one hundred megabit, you know, wired LAN, um, you can. Um, you can basically just go in there and, you know, like with Orb or something like that, and stream video right, right off your computer. So Now, Smoothie is saying in the chat room he's kind of finding it hard to figure out why this would be useful. And basically, honestly, it's, it's Seagate's solution to not having to build devices with that big of a hard drive. Well, um, you're basically yeah. going to... You, you basically have... Your portable hard drive that apparently everybody brings around with them everywhere. Oh, yeah, and, definitely. Um, yeah. You know, I bring mine around with me everywhere I go. I mean, I thought everybody else did, too. Um, I and this basically, honker, three terabyte hard drive. while your hard drive is in your backpack, you could flip a switch and, like, get all your movies off of it without having to be attached via USB cable. Yeah. Now, something I think about is, as an iPad owner, that strikes me is, um, with a Wi-Fi edition iPad, you don't realize, especially the first time that you use it, you don't realize how connected you actually are with your iPad. Like, every, a lot of tablet things are stored on the cloud, besides, like, your music, your videos and everything, like, you can't look at Twitter, you can't look at, I mean, that sounds obvious, but, you know, once, (laughs) once you leave a wireless connection. Oh, man, I can't look at my Facebook now? Um, yeah, so essentially... Smoothie, it is like a hotspot hard drive. That's what, literally what it does. And um, essentially, you've got 500 gigabytes more storage that you can connect wirelessly to your iPad, which is pretty awesome. Uh, 199 bucks. that's what they're starting at, MSRP. He said, uh, the Seagate representative that Scopalizer had on, he said that um, look for it around 179 um, when it launches. Um, so... It is, yeah. That's that's the first thing that came uh, to my mind, Carlo. Is it's too much, but and if you also look at it, like I don't see why they didn't just make this go ahead and make it a one terabyte because one it's terabyte like, drives like fifty some fifty eight bucks or something. Yeah, but still, like they have one terabyte taking up the same space that five hundred gigabytes. Yeah. Yeah, and just like Eric's saying, three terabyte. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure. I think now you can get two terabyte in the same space. You can get you know, 500 gigabytes. So mm-hmm. why limit yourself on that space? Why would you only offer a 500 gigabyte? Yeah. I would imagine when it comes out, they'll probably offer different sizes. But, um, you know. Now, so one of the interesting things that I like about this, even though I probably won't get it, but um, I do like the fact that it's still a fully functional hard drive. They yeah, com- you can it plug comes it with in. their, uh, what they say is a standard uh it's kind of like a SATA connector. They worked with the SATA Alliance or something like that um, to be able... What they did, essentially, is they just, you know, developed this port that Seagate uses, and you can connect, like, a USB 3.0, which is also back compatible with USB 2, and then you can buy a little cable for, like, 10 or 15 bucks that allows you to do FireWire as well. Which I think it's funny that it's going to have USB 3.0, but it's still only, like, 802.11G. I still can't really figure out why it's G. I mean... Like, at least give you N and have the compatibility of G. Yeah. I it's mean, like, why why limit yourself in the technology that's out there? Uh, Carlos saying it is similar to Apple's uh, time capsule. I think, yeah, it is. But, it's, I mean, it literally reminds me of what a... It, 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 if you had a NAS on your network and you had an app that interfaced with it on your iPad, that's essentially what it is, except... 
now it's portable. Yeah. 25 hours standby, uh, basically just randomly accessing files, and um, five hours of continuous streaming video. So... Yeah. Pick up yours today at pbcasttv.com. And it no, hasn't kidding. launched quite yet, I don't think, uh, unless I'm wrong, but... No, it hasn't yet. It should be uh, pre-order. It's currently available for pre-order from various online retailers at $200 price point. All righty. So... It's interesting, and, it, and you do have to use their application or... Of course. Or their web interface, they call I it. I do but. not like Seagate for that reason. They're very proprietary on their hard drives. Yeah. Um, they'll be like, "Hey, look, we'll sell you a hundred gig or a hundred uh, or a one terabyte hard drive, but you have to format it with our software. Yeah. You cannot if you format it by going into a program and just hitting format, it will only give you like eighty percent of the hard drive. Yikes. I do not like that yeah. at all. Yep. Well, I think it is cool though the fact that we now have a wireless hard drive. I mean." Even though it's not wireless in the sense of what we actually want, um, you know, it is wireless. So yeah, I um, think it's pretty. Awesome. I would have liked um, them to actually like come up with a like faster Bluetooth. Oh, that would be, and cool. then just have it connected with Bluetooth. But it wouldn't be released now. <laughs> um, the other thing I'd like is not even Bluetooth. Just have it with the. 802.11n, and <laughs> yeah. have it to where you can just stick it in your house somewhere. Uh, yeah. Maybe, like, like uh, just do a bunch of stuff. And they were saying, like, um, it has about 145 to 150 foot range, which, you know, for something like, uh, something like a, uh, I don't know, what would you say, like, if it, if you're just using it as like a what what well you know, right next to you you're not gonna like go stick this in your like closet but, yeah. somewhere in the house or something and like have your iPad sitting downstairs somewhere but you could yeah. but yeah. what it needs to do what you need to do what you need to do is uh, make it so that it seamlessly connects up I'm sorry I'm just like so stinking short now this ball um. What you need to do is make it to where it um, connects up seamlessly with your network at your house. That would be cool. So that way, or utilize other networks um, in the area. So like say you're sitting at Starbucks. Starbucks. Okay. It can connect up to their Wi-Fi and like sit there and let you use their Wi-Fi to access it also. So you don't really have... You can have the point-to-point ad hoc connection, which is what right. we call that thing. That thing. Um, or you could have like a, um, you know, infrastructure connection where it goes through another point. And that would sort of take off... Um, it lets you get a lot farther away with it. Um, you know. And of course, it'd have encryption and all that crap. So it, I, I look at this as having like a, um, like a web interface... And the I, Apple products are just going to access it via a web interface, yeah. like a web page. And you can just go and click your video. Just like how you'd go to orb. Dot, you know, mycast.orb.com to log into your Orb account if you're running an Orb server. You can just go into an IP address that is predetermined, I guess. Or I guess it would be linked up with yeah. the software. There's going to be people that it's going to hack it, probably. And other people will come out with something that works better. Yeah. Um, I think the fact, and I know I've already said this, but I think the fact that we have a wireless hard drive now makes me happy. That's about the only thing yeah. that came good out but of this. They, but they did it wrong. Yeah. When you can it plug wrong. it up wired and get a faster transfer speed, you, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. Or because especially double the transfer speed. Yeah. I mean, okay, if I when take it's a... half the speed as USB, regular USB 2.0, yeah. you're doing something wrong. If you cannot match the speed of regular USB, you have to right. do something. Agreed, agreed. Well, that's pretty... I, I think it's cool. It's a cool little gadget. I don't think it's going to be useful unless you want to store your whole video collection and access it with your iPad. So, anyway. All right, guys. I just, This is Jacob's uh, cue here. Oh, hey, you can follow... Uh, 
insert random name here that Nicholas doesn't have pulled up. You can follow Nick on <laughs> that Nick Jones at Twitter. Yes. And uh, Nick Jones is his name. Yes. And his website is nickjones.me. You can also follow me at freaking huge on Twitter, as well as other social media websites. Pretty much just search freaking huge on anything, and more than likely that will be me. And hit I'm feeling lucky. Yes. Do not (laughs) do that, especially with safe search turned off. Uh Um, My name is Jacob Roberts, of course, as the sign says. And my website is jacobroberts.me. Yes. You can also follow the sound effects generator. <laughs> yes. On uh, the website <laughs> that is formerly known as Behringer.com. Let's just increase that pitch a little bit for the closeout. <laughs> put that in there. Hey, every- whoop, whoop. Oh. Oh. Oh, guys. Just, uh... Boom, 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 boom. Just think if we would have had this when we did the dance party. Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is. What is it? Oh, my God.